So I want to talk today about how to get the door open on your second generation Toyota Sienna. The sliding door in this one will not open. It is stuck shut. Someone broke the door handle off trying to get it open. The front latch is engaged and will not release. The back latch is not engaged all the way, so it's actually not holding it, so it thinks the door is all the way open. And if you look at the dash, the door light stays on non-stop. And that has been running down the battery on this one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my trick to get these stuck doors. Okay, so the outside door handle is broken off. But pulling on the inside handle, it's jammed. It won't move very far, and it still doesn't allow the door to open. So what we're going to need to do is get in behind this bezel right here in order to pull on a lever that's inside the door in order to get it open. Now, to get this bezel off, there's actually screws up here in front to remove it, but with the door shut, you can't access them. So the first thing you need to do is actually lock the door and then pull on the back side of the bezel. Important thing here is after you pull out that bezel, make sure you unlock the door again. So now I gotta get in behind this bezel and push on a mechanism that the cables actually fasten into in order to open this door. Now when I push forward on, I'm gonna push forward on this and then the door will open. Okay, so now that I've had the door open, I remove the bezel by removing the two screws that are in front of it. They're just a Phillips head. And I'll show you where I'm pushing up here. Right up here on top, there is this arm that has these two cables that go into it. Now those cables go into each of the latches, front and back, and by pushing that forward, I release those latches so I can get the door open. So if you look at these latches, they're full of dirt and dust. And that's probably why they got stuck to begin with. So we're gonna need to give them some good amount of lubricant and hopefully they'll start releasing like they should. So now the rear door latch, when I pull it down here, it should lock latch the door but that's not happening so I'm gonna to have to probably take that latch out clean it thoroughly and lubricate it in order to get it working properly so I ended up taking the door panel off and taking the inner door apart and removing the window from the regulator so I ended up removing the entire rear latch assembly which is here on the back side of the door found it all full of dirt and leaves, etc. So once I cleaned that out, the latch is now working fine. I managed to get this rear latch assembly out of place without removing this rear window channel. You kind of got to snake it in behind there. And then it has a latch right up, right up there. It'll hold it in place until you can get it bolted from the back side. Okay, so we got finished, got it all assembled, got the new door handle on. Opens good from the outside and the inside. Plus, now when you shut the door, the door jar light shuts off. 